Hey everybody, this is Fire TV Richie, and um, some of you are having issues with your titanium build. Um, this is going to show you how to fix it in several different ways. If uh, if this is the issue that you're having, if you originally had titanium build and this is the screen that you're getting, then uh, most likely the issue is only that. Um, it could be a few different things, but most likely it's the skin that's not loading when you open it back up. So the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and unplug your device and plug it back in. And then reload Cody again and see if it fixes it. If not, then you're going to have to go through these steps. So you can just pause the video right now, go ahead and unplug it, plug it back in. Um, if it doesn't, go ahead and go to, if you're on this screen, go ahead and click on add-ons. And right here, if, if all these add-ons actually show up, that means that you still do have the titanium build. Um, sorry, uh, you can click on program add-ons. And if it still says Supreme Wizard, Supreme Build Wizards, Wizard, then you can actually perform this, uh, this fix. Okay, so just go ahead and back out. And this is the first first way to uh, to fix this. this. is the easiest way. Up here at the very top in the very middle, uh, it looks like a gearbox or a little like a little gear. Go ahead and click on it. And on this page, go ahead and click on interface settings. And right there, we're at the very top. It says skin. Click on skin. You should have three different skins in here. Uh, and you should be on estuary. What you're going to want to do is load Exfluence. On this page, it says, Would you like to keep the, this change? Go ahead and say yes. And I actually did something wrong. <laughs> I don't know what I clicked on, but I'm I'm doing this from a phone, so uh, it's not going to be as easy as doing it uh, with the remote. After you click yes, uh, it's gonna. It might be a little quicker on yours, but this page will eventually stop, and it'll either force close Cody, and you'll have to go back into it, or. Uh, or you can just hit the back button and just see what happens. I'm hitting the back button. Okay, and everything pops up. Okay, and I had a, um, a person who actually, when they did this, nothing popped back up. And the issue right here is either that the internet is really, really slow and it's taking a while to pop up or there's still an issue. And if there is, then uh, it's possibly that just this little menu section will be here and none of the add-ons and none of the, uh, the movies and all that kind of stuff will show. So what you're going to do from here is go back to that same exact place. The way you do that, or that same exact screen you had originally, which is Estuary. So go to main menu, underneath main menu, it says settings. Go ahead and click settings, click on interface, click on skin, and you're going to change it right back to where you were at the beginning. Click on estuary. Would you like to keep these changes? Yes, you would. Okay, so now it's back to where it is. You're going to back out to that very first screen that you've been on. And then go ahead and click on add-ons. Then go ahead and go down to program add-ons. Click on program add-ons. Click on supreme builds wizard. And what you're going to do right here is you're actually going to reinstall the entire software over again. It's going to delete all the old files, put all the new files back on. 
and it's going to be completely updated. Let's go ahead and click on Supreme Builds. And then on this page, you can choose either Titanium US Server 1 or Titanium US Server 2. Uh, if neither one of those work, you can use the European server, but it will take a little longer because the server is obviously in another country. So, okay, go ahead and click on one of them. Let's see, I'm going to try server one. And a little box is going to pop up. Actually, this page is going to come up, and then you're going to want to click on fresh install. Fresh install basically means they're going to wipe it clean and reinstall everything. Do you wish to restore your Kodi configurations to default settings? Absolutely yes. So it's going to extract some files and then it's going to install them. Depending on your internet speed, it's either going to be quick or fast. So uh, hopefully mine's fast for the purpose of this video. You can see right now it's downloading. This is uh, some more extracting. It's, it's going to extract, extract some more after this. And really, you don't even have to really watch the rest of the video because your yours will do exactly what mine's going to do. Another box is going to pop up after it's done installing, and it's going to ask you whether you want to force close or you don't want to force close. And obviously, the correct answer is force close. Uh, once it's for, force closed, your Kodi will completely shut down, and you'll be back on your Amazon screen or whatever device you're on. And then you just bet you can uh, go to Cody again, and uh, you'll see the uh, Cody, uh, whatever version Cody you have, pop up. And then after that, uh, you'll see the titanium background pop up and a fresh installed version of titanium build will be on your device. Uh, from there, you're going to want to sit there, or you're just going to want to let it sit there for about 5 to 10 minutes, uh, depending on your internet speed, uh, to be safe, 10, 15 minutes, and uh, it should download all the uh, proper files and all that kind of stuff. You may see some things that say error and all that kind of stuff. Don't worry about any kind of errors, because a lot of times there's, uh, there's add-ons that are down, and uh, while they're down, it's going to say error. So um, that's just normal with any kind of install for uh, any kind of build uh, on Kodi. And I just canceled mine. Total accident. <laughs> so, but from there, you know exactly what to do. Just make sure you do a force close. All right. Thank you.